right here I got big cells coming in. Look at the, look at the snow and hail falling over the mountains here. Right here in Maharan, there's Connor McDonald taking images. Video footage here. Yeah, that's definitely the one to watch. A bit of rain falling here. The structure or not? Yeah, that is cool. Hands are freezing. I have a fin we're going to get a lot more of this one. Me too. Look, see, they could have been wrong, it's just come on it. See if I was a dunny goal, was getting all day. Yeah. I would love to be noticed. So far we've had little success. Can you confirm the time there, Martin? Time is now almost 10 to 4. Oh, hands are freezing. There's a cutoff point here, that cell ends. Some massive snowflakes coming down here. If I can just catch one. You see? Okay, we've got snow that the cell has passed over us and now we've got a Snowflakes may have are huge. Really big snowflakes here. And look at that. I'm zooming away in corner and you can see them really well. I was just about to say that. Just over the rocks and beside the barbed wire. Oh yes, look at that. Nice. So Mark, a success so far? It sure is. This was quite unexpected. Yeah. I think this is the start of it. Look at, look at the structure of the mountain. We got another look, at, look at the big ridge of cloud with the, the hail and snow falling from it. The mountain's getting obscured at the top there. Let's see if I can. That's pretty impressive. We're facing southwest over the Carn Mountains. There's big cells behind us, they're drifting over northwest, maybe north, right through over us. Hail falling, there's a big cell coming in there, so it's partially obscured by falling snow. It's dropping over the town. And we got a brilliant viewpoint here. The snow is massive. May I add this is turning to sleep. Well, oh, Connor. Well, so far, it's going it's well. good, yep. Hopefully, uh, they were wrong again and it's just coming on a wee bit more late. Mm -hmm. The snow is actually very big. And we've got more cell as you can see. Past the look at the visibility has dropped immensely. Uh huh. Where it is falling at. And hopefully we'll get some lightning from a lot more structures and we hope for the best. It's looking good. Go look at this. I can buy Connor here. Look at the hail structure falling out of this system here. Facing east here. Take you out of it, out the structure. Look at, look at the stuff being kicked up from a car. That's deadly. Look at this gust front.
any place here. I just run down through the forest to get the car here. I'm out of breath. Gus front still took up a hole. Northeast to Eastern Sky. Look at that structure. Beautiful. This convection over there. Hey, Jeremy, just turn Huh? Hey, Jeremy, just turn Yeah. Some great ones, that's a lorn. We can actually wonder if four separate tongs can down. Now, on the other end of the field, <laughs> we're here with Connor. We went some distance to get a good view, and this is the gust front. It's heading to the right, and the very footage which is to the south, south east. east. South east came from the northwest, approximately. It's been visible here for a long time. You know, it seems to be heading more south because if you look at it, it's not going away from us. It's here as often down the screen. Uh, so it's just going by us? Aye. And we actually had a very dark lowering coming out the back of this. I don't know what it was. I see an hour lowering where they look. It's an hour one. It's a very complex structure anyway. It's really heavy bands of hail and snow coming out of it. It's a beautiful structure. We came out the day with no hopes. The forecast was destroyed. Convective outlook looked to be zero for our location. And we came out looking for buzzards. Now we've got a gust front. And buzzards. And buzzards. <laughs> what a day. I'm just surprised there's been no flashes of this. Very surprised no flashes. What, what, what's it look like, Connor? What's your visual description? A very long gust front. You can see where it actually is tilted towards us. It's measuring a good 120 degrees of sky. Mm -hmm. Very long, it's dark, It's the rain is very very heavy on it. I'm surprised we've seen no lightning. We've got quite a lot of lowerings, a lot of scud coming out the bottom of it. What that signifies I'm not 100% sure but it looks good anyway. What about the striations going across there? Pretty cool aren't they? Yeah, the rainfall curtains. I, I take it that See it lower and above this this the striation. Yeah. That whole that's the actual shelf, isn't it? It's hard that's to tell. I mean, it? It's not as if it's popping out of the shelf. It's come down the sort of angle. Yeah. You see one there coming down the nor. Uh huh. I so see that. It looks as if you've got we've a ten or twelve attempts to pull a funnel out of that, but it's just not it's just not happening at the moment. There were definitely some very interesting lorings a while ago, wasn't there? Yeah, we had actually four at one time. Mm hmm. A big white straight one. <laughs> it yeah. looked like a funnel, but it probably heal. But I was interested. Of course, picking up and it was getting quite dark in there. So, see that the way the back and the core, right, right. some, some, some hanging out there, condensing. Right, isn't it? I can't see us getting mam out this year. We're looking at the cell from a weird angle. Yeah. I can't actually pick up like a sort of structure on it. To be honest with you, if I pan the camera, we're at the rear of the gust front, sweeping across into the southeast direction, and over that tree in front of me, congested, congested cells will blown up. More falling hail and snow into the south. And now it's currently okay. starting to fall hail. And there's there's Connor, yeah. Good day yes. so far. <laughs> We're brilliant. Yeah. Behind Connor is the west. That's the tree lane we had to run through to get here, which wasn't easy, I tell you that. And that's where the all activities come from. And